नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम टू द क्लास लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ अ न्यू टॉपिक कॉल्ड डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन नाउ वॉट इज अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन आई विल से दैट एन इक्वेशन Involving derivative of independent uh, derivative of dependent variable with respect to independent. derivative of dependent variable with respect to independent variable is called differential equation okay so an equation involving derivative of dependent variable with respect to independent variable is called differential equation now what is dependent variable and what is independent variable so we have seen equation like y equal to x square plus 2x plus 7 now this is an equation in which y depend on the value of x i change value of x and accordingly the value of y will also changes so this x is called independent variable and y is called dependent because the value of y depend on the value of x and value of x is independent okay it does not depend on any other variable so x is called independent variable and y is called dependent variable now when i find derivative of this independent variable dy upon dx i get 2x plus 2 now this is an equation which involves derivative of in uh, dependent variable with respect to independent variable it is called a differential equation so the concept of differential equation is simple an equation which involves derivative of dependent variable with respect to independent variable it is called a differential equation now if only one independent variable is involved in the differential equation it is called ordinary differential equation in this chapter we are going to see only the ordinary differential equation so whenever we say differential equation we mean we are talking about ordinary differential equation now this equation is also an ordinary differential equation as here we have only one independent variable now here when we discuss differential equation two important terms are first order of differential equation order of differential equation and degree of differential equation so order of differential equation and degree so let us first discuss what is an order of differential equation so order of differential equation is defined as the order of highest order derivative of differential equation what i say order of a differential equation is order of highest order derivative of dependent variable with respect to independent variable involved in the given differential equation now that definition uh, seems little confusing order of differential equation so here 
in this case in the above example this is example number 1 now if i differentiate this equation again what i get i get d square y upon dx square is equals to 2 the the equation 1 let us say this is equation 1 this is equation 2 the equation 1 is called differential equation of order 1 the second equation differential equation is called differential equation of order 2 so here in second equation i have differentiated this function two time so the number of time i differentiate a particular equation that number becomes the order of differential equation so if i differentiate this again here in equation number 2 the order is 2 if i differentiate again third time then my order will become 3 so order of differential equation is the highest order derivative highest order derivative means maximum how many time i have differentiated an equation so if i have an equation d power 4 y upon dx square plus dy upon dx the whole power 7 plus 9 is equals to 0 suppose this is a differential equation now in this differential equation order of this differential equation d power 4 y upon dx power 4 the order of differential equation is 4 because an equation was differentiated 4 times to get this equation so order of this equation is 4 so it is clear what is order of differential equation order of differential equation is the highest order derivative maximum how many time i differentiated now let us discuss degree of differential equation degree of differential equation now degree of differential equation is exponent of the highest order derivative term okay exponent means power degree of differential equation is the exponent of highest order derivative provided all the derivative terms are the polynomial equations provided all the derivative terms are the polynomial equations now what is polynomial equation polynomial equation is an equation in which the exponent is non negative integer okay when the exponent is non negative integer so here i have to take few examples to make it clear when i take an equation such as d square y upon dx square plus dy upon dx now suppose this dy upon dx is in square root is equals to 0 okay a simple equation i am taking now here i have to identify order and degree so order so it is easy you see that the equation is differentiated two time because we have d square y upon dx square so order i will say that order of dif differential equation is 2 but when degree comes then in that case i have to check that the derivative terms are in the polynomial equation form that means in simple i will say that the power of each derivative term should be non negative integer should be non negative integer now here i have two derivative terms one is d square y upon dx square other is dy upon dx now the power whole power of this d square y upon dx square is 1 if i not write anything that means exponent is 1 now for this second term dy upon dx as it is in square root its power or its exponent is half so before i write the degree of this differential equation i have to make this power as non negative integer so how we can do that we will rewrite this equation as 
d square y upon dx square is equals to dy upon dx the whole power half okay here it will be minus sign then I will square both the sides so I will get d square y upon dx square the whole power 2 is equals to dy upon dx okay now here each derivative term has non negative powers so this is now in standard form and now here I can define degree so degree here is 2 first I will identify what is the highest order derivative term this term is highest order derivative term and its power is 2 so I will say that its degree is 2 so here in this equation order is 2 and degree is also 2 so order and degree both are equal to 2 now let us take one more example d square y upon dx square plus sin of dy upon dx is equals to 10. Now in this case highest order is 2 so order is easy order is 2 as far as degree is concerned degree dy upon dx now here d square y upon dx square its power is 1 its power is 1 what you can say about this sin of dy upon dx can I express in any way this sin dy upon dx in terms of dy upon dx as I have done in case of root of dy upon dx so the answer is no you cannot express so here this derivative term cannot be expressed as a polynomial equation so here I will say degree is not defined so here degree is not defined so if you are not able to express any of the derivative term as a polynomial form okay then in that case you will say that degree is not defined so whenever it is asked to find order and degree it may possible that degree may not defined for order it is not so means order every time you have some definite value okay but degree degree may or may not be defined okay so now with this concept what is a differential equation what is order of differential equation and what is degree of differential equation now you are all in position to solve your first exercise so let us see the first exercise exercise 9.1 here we have to determine order and degree of the differential equation given in exercise 1 to 10 so here 1 to 7 question you are seeing okay there are few more questions so first question is d power 4y upon dx power 4 plus sin y triple dash now what what is this triple dash triple dash means this is third derivative no? third order derivative is equals to 0 so what is your order so order is simple you will say that order is 4 okay and what is degree so degree as you see that this d cube by upon dx cube is under sign that means you cannot express this as a polynomial form so you will say that degree not defined done this is your first question now second question y dash means a dy upon dx okay y dash so there are different ways of writing derivative of the variable so this is a sh shortcut way to write y dash plus 5y is 0 now here order is yes yes you are right order is 1 and what is degree degree the highest power of this y dash is 1 
तो ये ऑर्डर इज वन एंड डिग्री इज वन नाउ थर्ड क्वेश्चन ऑर्डर इज नाउ द हाइएस्ट टाइम इट डिफ्रेंशिएटेड इज टू वी हैव डी स्क्वायर एस अपॉन डी टी स्क्वायर एंड डिग्री सो डिग्री वी सी दैट ईच डेरिवेटिव टर्म इज नाउ इज इन पॉलिनेमल फॉर्म सो आई विल सी द एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ हाइएस्ट ऑर्डर सो एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ हाइएस्ट ऑर्डर नाउ हियर डी स्क्वायर एस अपॉन डी टी स्क्वायर इट्स पावर इज नथिंग गिवन सो आई विल कंसिडर वन in the same way in the fourth problem now here order is 2 and degree i will say that degree not defined why yes now you are quite clear that as dy upon dx is under cos its degree cannot be defined fifth question Order is two, degree is one. Sixth question, order is three, degree is two. The highest power is two. Seventh question, order is three, degree is one. Okay, because its power is not there. Why triple dash? And the whole power I will consider one. So order three and degree one. So you will get a question of this type for one mark. Simple questions, right? Now in eighth question, order is one and degree is one. Now here you need not have to see independent variable. Okay, here e is e power x, so that uh, does not make uh, any difference. Means if it is e power d by upon d x, e power y dash, then there could be a problem. Then we have to express e power y dash in terms of a polynomial equation which is not clear here so i will say that degree is not defined but now in problem number 8 order is 1 degree is 1 in problem number 9 order is 2 and degree is 1 i have to see the exponent of highest order and equation number 10 order is 2 and degree is 1 perfect now here you can see that sin y term is involved if it is sin y dash then i will say that degree is not defined but sin y to it is okay i have to see to it that only the derivative parts are in the polynomial equation format now 11th question 11th question multiple choice question the degree of differential equation degree they are not asking me order they are asking me degree degree of differential equation so here as dy upon dx is under sin sin dy upon dx it is not in the polynomial form so i will say that degree is not defined and finally 12th question the order of differential equation now here i have to find order order of differential equation so easily you can figure out that order is 2 so here order is clear so this is all about your order and degree of differential equation now let us move further and discuss what is a solution of differential equation so next topic we will discuss solution of a given differential equation or how we can form our differential equation so let us first discuss solution of differential equation a function which satisfies the given differential equation is called the solution of differential equation yes what i said a function which satisfies the given differential equation is called the solution of differential equation now um, i want to give you an example like uh, suppose i have y equal to x square now we will take a very simple example x square plus 2x okay plus 2 so when i differentiate dy upon dx 
I get 2x plus 2, right? Now, this is my differential equation, okay? And this function y is equals to x square plus 2x plus 2, this function, okay, is satisfying this differential equation, okay? Means from this equation only I have got this differential equation. So, definitely this function will satisfy this differential equation. So, I will say that this is a solution of this differential equation. Now, if in place of 2 I have 3 or 4 or 5, what I will get? I will get the same equation. So, in general I will say that y equal to x square plus 2x plus some constant c is a solution this is a solution of differential equation is a solution of differential equation dy upon dx equal to 2x plus 2. So, this dy upon dx equal to 2x plus 2 is differential equation and y equal to x square plus 2x plus c is the solution of this differential equation. Now, y equal to x square plus 2x plus 2 is also a solution. This solution is called general solution, okay. So, when arbitrary constants are involved, arbitrary constant means a constant whose value can change. Now, here the value of c can change, it could be 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. So, when the value of arbitrary constant changes, it is called general solution and when arbitrary constant is a fixed value, it is called particular solution or when I say that there is no arbitrary constant, there is no constant whose value is changing, then it is called a particular solution. So, here this equation is your particular solution and this solution is your general solution. So, here we understood what is a general solution, what is a particular solution. Now, uh, the next question arise, okay how I will get the general solution or if an equation is given, how I will get the differential equation. Now, here in this case, um, do I have to differentiate this equation again to get the differential equation? Because we have seen many differential equations in which the order is 2, 3, 4 like that. So, how we decide that we have to differentiate 2 time or 3 time? So, it all depends on the number of arbitrary constants. If you have given an equation and in that equation you have only one arbitrary constant, then you differentiate that equation once and you try to eliminate that arbitrary constant. Then after elimination of arbitrary constant, what a differential equation you have that is the required differential equation. Now, if we have two arbitrary constants, so we will differentiate two times and eliminate both the arbitrary constants. If there are 3, so we will differentiate 3 times and eliminate all the 3 arbitrary constants and so on. So, your differential equation is free from arbitrary constants. It is free from arbitrary constants. It is free from constants like C, K, okay, like that. So, there are two type of questions. Again, one is that you have to form a differential equation from a given solution. Okay, or you can say that you have to form a differential equation from a given equation. And the second type of problem is you have to find the solution of differential equation. That means you have given a differential equation and you have to find the solution. Now, there is one more type of problem okay, where you have given one solution and you have given one differential equation and you have to verify whether the given solution is the solution of the given differential equation, okay. So, this third type what I am saying is little easy because you have solution and you have to differentiate, you have differential equation, you have to just verify. So, the simplest way to verify is that whatever solution is given to you, you just differentiate it, okay, differentiate how many times? So, it depends on number of arbitrary constant, differentiate it. If you get the required differential equation, then you will say that the given solution 
is solution of differential equation. Now I will clear it with the help of one problem. So let us move to exercise num number num uh, exercise 9.2. Here in each of the following exercise 1 to 10 verify that the given function explicit or implicit. Now you know what is explicit function and implicit function. You have to verify that it is a solution of differential equation. So I will discuss first question y is equals to I have given y is equals to e power x plus 1 and differential equation is y double dash minus y dash is equals to 0 y double dash minus y dash is equals to 0. I have to check whether this is a solution of this equation. Now here I will differentiate it. So I get y dash is equals to e power x derivative of e power x is e power x and derivative of 1 is 0. Then I will find y double dash this is again e power x. So what do you say y double dash minus y dash your y double dash minus y dash will be equal to e power x minus e power x and your answer is 0. So y double dash minus y dash is 0. So this y is equal to e power x plus 1 is a solution I will say that therefore therefore y equal to e power x plus 1 is a solution of y double dash minus y dash. Now you may say that key sir here no arbitrary constant involved you have said that key if it is a differential equation of order 1 then we when we find its solution we get one arbitrary constant but that is in general solution case in particular solution no arbitrary constant and here in this question they have not mentioned anything about general solution or a particular solution. So when they say key general solution then in that case I may say that key this is not the general solution of this differential equation but it could be a particular solution. So you have to differentiate the given solution and if you obtain your required differential equation then you will say that the given solution is the solution of given differential equation. Okay. You can also say left hand side and prove that you are getting right hand side. Now second question we have second question what is it y equal to x square plus 2x plus c y equal to x square plus 2x plus c. This is your solution and your differential equation is y dash minus 2x minus 2 equal to 0. y dash minus 2x minus 2 equal to 0. Now let us differentiate it y dash is equals to I will get 2x plus 2 okay y dash is equals to 2x plus 2 this implies that y dash minus 2x minus 2 is 0 okay hence I will say verified or hence I will say that hence this y equal to x square plus 2x plus c is a solution of differential equation okay you can also say that your left hand side is y dash minus 2x minus 2 then in place of y dash you put 2x plus 2 2x plus 2 minus 2x minus 2 they all cancel and you will get answer as 0. So left hand side is equal to right hand side therefore y equal to x square plus 2x plus c is a solution. Third is y equal to cos x plus c third question is 
y is equals to cos x plus c. Now here if I differentiate I get y dash is equals to minus sin x. Okay. Now I am going to solve it differently. Now LHS. Now I will say that now we have to verify. Okay. We have to verify that y dash plus sin x is 0. We have to verify that y dash plus sin x is 0. So, my LHS. Okay, now, I am proving this in a different way. So, you should know both the methods. The first one is little easy that here simply I would have done y dash plus sin x is equal to 0 and I say that this is solution. Now, here my left hand side is y dash plus sin x. Now, in place of y dash I will put minus sin x. So, minus sin x plus sin x is 0 which is RHS. Hence, you will say that verified or you will say that y equal to cos x plus c is a solution of y dash plus sin x is equal to 0. Right. Let us see few more questions. Question number 4 y equal to root of 1 plus x square. I have y equal to root of 1 plus x square. Now, y dash you can see. So, here I differentiate it y dash y dash is root x is 1 upon 2 root x. So, 1 upon 2 root 1 plus x square then I will say d by dx I am using chain rule. Okay. So, do not directly differentiate and write better show the steps to your teacher. So, here I will get 1 upon 2 root of 1 plus x square into 2x. Now, this 2 and this 2 will cancel and here it is x upon root of 1 plus x square. Now, what I have to prove that y dash is equal to x y upon 1 plus x square. Okay. So, now this is y dash. Huh? I will keep this term as it is y dash, but I have to prove it equal to x y upon 1 plus x square. So, left hand side is this much. Now, I will say that key we have to verify. We have to verify y dash is equal to x y upon 1 plus x square. Now, I know the value of y dash. Let us find the value of this x y. So, I will take R H S. R H S is x y upon 1 plus x square. So, here x you will write as it is and in place of y you will write it is root of 1 plus x square and your denominator is 1 plus x square. Now, the numerator is root of 1 plus x square and denominator is 1 plus x square. So, this denominator you can write or you can rationalize it. How to rationalize? Here you multiply by root of 1 plus x square and you divide by root of 1 plus x square. So, in numerator you will get x into 1 plus x square and denominator you have 1 plus x square into root of 1 plus x square. Now, here this term will cancel and you have 
x upon root of 1 plus x square. So your right hand side is equals to x upon root of 1 plus x square which is your y dash which is your y dash from 1. Therefore, LHS is equals to RHS is equals to LHS. So, therefore, I will say that LHS is equals to RHS. Hence, I will say that y equal to root of 1 plus x square is a solution of y dash is equals to x y upon 1 plus x square. Okay. Now, instead of doing these lengthy calculations, you could also have done uh, here rationalization because you know that you have to prove that y dash is equals to x y upon 1 plus x square. So, in denominator how you get 1 plus x square by rationalizing this denominator. So, you multiply by root of 1 plus x square numerator and denominator. So, your numerator will become x y because the value of y is root of 1 plus x square and your denominator will become 1 plus x square. So, you will say that this y is a solution of the given differential equation. Now, fifth problem is y is equals to a x. Fifth problem y is equals to capital A x. So, y dash is equals to A ok y dash is equals to A. Now, here x y dash is equals to y we have to verify that y is equals to A x is a general solution of this x y dash is equals to y. So, here I have y dash is equals to a, let us consider this as equation 1. Now, we have to verify that x into y dash is equals to y, x into y dash is equals to y. So, LHS is equals to x into y dash. So, it is x into a is equals to a x is equals to y is equals to r h s. Hence, verified. Therefore, I will say that y is equals to a x is a solution of differential equation y is equals to a x is a solution of differential equation x y dash is equals to y. Okay. This is your fifth and Finally, let us discuss this sixth question y is equals to x sin x. Mm, so, better I discuss here, let us erase all these things. Hmm. Sixth one is y is equals to x into sin x. Now, y is equals to x into sin x and we have to check whether this is a solution of this equation. So, here first I will find y dash, y dash will be u into v method I will apply x into sin x will become cos x plus sin x into x is 1. So, x cos x plus sin x this is y dash. Now, only once it 
it is differentiated. Now we have to verify. I will say that RHS or I will first write we have to verify x y dash is equals to y plus x root of x square minus y square. So, here I will take my right hand side it is seems little complicated y plus x root of x square minus y square this will be equals to y plus x root of x square minus x sin x the whole square. So, that is x square sin square x. So, this is y plus x into I will take 1 x common inside I have 1 minus sin square x. Now, what is 1 minus sin square x is cos square x. So, this is y plus x square inside root I have cos x square x is equals to y plus x square into cos x. y plus x square into cos x I got it as my right hand side I have to prove that this is equals to x into y dash y dash is x cos x plus sin x. Okay. So, in place of y in place of y I can write x sin x. So, what will happen x sin x? y is equals to x sin x. Now, here I am getting x plus y plus x root of x square minus y square as y plus x square into cos x. Achha, y is x sin x. Okay, okay. So, I am getting it. Now, x into y dash. So, here I will replace this y is equals to with uh, x sin x. Now, this y is x into sin x. So, this become x into sin x plus x square cos x. Now, I can take x common and inside I have sin x plus x cos x and this sin x plus x cos x is your y dash sin x plus x cos x is your y dash. So, you will write is equals to x y dash this is from 1 is equals to your LHS. Okay. So, hence verified or I will say that therefore, y is equals to x sin x y is equals to x sin x is a solution of x y dash is equals to y plus x into y plus x into root of x square minus y square. Okay. So, few more questions are there, but let us solve them in our next class. Thank you for being with me in this class. I hope you understand now what is our differential equation, what is order and degree, how to check whether the given solution is a solution of given differential equation. Okay. There are few more problems we will see of this type and then we also have little idea that what we mean uh, how to form a differential equation from a given solution or how to get a solution from a given differential equation uh, means that these two types are there that we will see in our next class and okay that that's it that's it for now thank you